Hello YouTube. This is Shadow Guy again with another unboxing video. Uh, welcome back to the channel. I haven't posted anything in a while, but I wanted to share this with you guys. I went to uh, Target the other day, noticed there was a price drop on Final Fantasy Dissidia. It was a game I got to play a little bit of the demo, and um, I wanted to try it out. So I got a price match, and it, it's been marked down uh, recently because I guess the uh, feedback hasn't been so good. But I think for uh, $40, I picked up a nice Steelbook Brawler Edition for Dissidia NT Final Fantasy. So this is um, a update or like a new version of the uh, Dissidia game that you might be familiar with from PSP. Um, for those of you not familiar with it, it's like a 3 on 3 arena brawler um, with Final Fantasy characters. So um, let's take a quick look at the unboxing and I'm sure um, we have a bunch of fun things to uh, check out inside. All right, now to uh, start the unboxing. I don't have my trusty pen with me, um, but first of all, actually, um, we have the plastic um, covering, looks like a paper slip cover and a steel book. And we also have the uh, 30th anniversary Final Fantasy logo. It's a hologram. I'll zoom that in. It's really nice, but um, it's the stickers on the plastic. Um, so when I take off the plastic, it's going to eventually go somewhere. So let's see if I can open this without damaging it. All right. Bye-bye yeah, to that. So here's the front of the box. The Dissidia Steelbook. Here we have characters here. I don't know all of them. Know most of them. Here we have Squall, Lightning. I want to say Warrior of Light, but I could be wrong. Um, Titus. I want to say Terra, or I forget her name. Could be Final Fantasy IV or VI. And Cloud Strife, of course, from Final Fantasy VII. So we have, it's a PlayStation exclusive. Um, includes three art cards on the front. Um, and one steelbook that's randomly selected from three different designs. So that's kind of the surprise on the inside. On the back, we have, um, you know, a little picture of like the characters on the roster i don't know if that's all of them or some of them but it represents more or less the characters from final fantasy 1 through final fantasy 15 Here we have noctis at the end so it's pretty cool and we have the features on the back 3v3 team-based battles featuring legendary final fantasy characters one player um i guess local for solo and then two to six online 250 uh sorry 250 uh, 25 gigs minimum and ps4 pro enhance so i'm eager to check this out with the enhancement so we're gonna roll to the front and i don't know what cover i got there's one of three there's um possible of lightning squall on a separate one and i think uh is it a cloud or a separate off one i can't remember but let's see which one i got You'll be surprised as me. And cool. We got the lightning one. I'm actually happy with that. Uh, lightning is my favorite character probably from the Final Fantasy franchise. Which is not an, a popular opinion. I, I get that. Um, I have, And I've never finished the 13 series. I have all three of the games. But I never finished the 13 series. I only, And I've only gotten to play uh, 13 and 13-2. But I do have Lightning Returns here, actually. Um, I actually want them to do an HD remaster of that. I actually would be interested in replaying it again, especially if it came on Switch. So, um, I don't know who else we have. I feel like... I could be wrong. Somebody could cor correct me. Is this Kane or, or something from... Is that Final Fantasy 3 or, or something? And 
I think his name is Golbez. Because I think he was in the other Dissidia game. But I could be wrong. And here we have Lightning looking great as always. And then on the back. Ah. Titus and Zidane. So Final Fantasy 9 and 10. And I don't know who she is. I'm going to say Final Fantasy 11 maybe. Or 12. One of those games. Or it could be the new one from 14. The online ones. I don't know. Yeah, help me out if you know the characters on this cover. So take a look at the side. Dissidia NT. Kind of just a basic black. But it you know does have a little bit of a sparkle. And a shine to it. We're opening up. Now I'm going to be careful here. Because there's some codes here. So I'm going to cover those. So you guys don't see them. Um, let's open it out here first. And here we have the disc on the right and the inserts on the left. All right, so first we have trading cards, which is really cool. So I wasn't going to open these, but I'm going to open them. Why not? Um, these are for the Final Fantasy trading card game. And I'm actually happy because it includes a character that I was actually going to buy the starter deck for. And I, because I, I cheated and looked at some other openings of this. And here we have Warrior of Light. So that helps me. It was Warrior of Light on the front there. Cloud Strife. Nice hologram. And here we have Claire Lightning Farron with another EX card. And we here have some um, promo cards or CG uh, QR codes. So that's that's cool. Nice little collectible. I don't have to run out and buy a starter pack. I may still buy one. I just don't have anyone to play the trading card game with. Here we have a code for Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. It's a game for Android. Play on the Google Store. It's a game that lets you use characters from all the other games in like a traditional um, turn-based combat kind of thing. I haven't played it yet. I've been trying to play Brave Exvius, but I don't have a lot of time lately. So, And then we have a promo material here for Final Fantasy XIV online, which is on PS4. Kingdom Hearts 3, a game that I've been waiting for since my childhood. So I can't wait for that to come this year. Uh, Final Fantasy XV, the season pass. It just got a re-release called the Royal Edition. And Nissan Cup Noodles. With DLC, apparently. I have to look out for that. Maybe I'll check that out at my local supermarket. So, that's that. Take a look at the disc on the inside. It's a nice white. It reminds me of the Dissidia packaging for PSP. Similar white. And then inside, we have another picture of the Warrior of Light with swords. Who I only recognize this one. This is uh, Squall's Gunblade. Not sure if... Is this Lightning Sword here? Can't tell. Kind of, they all kind of have, they both have the same kind of uh, mechanic where they flip in. That's really cool that we have that on the steel book inside the packaging. And we have in the bottom the steel book a logo right there in the bottom. So you know it's legit. And there you have it. Take a look at all sides of this. One more time. So. For a quick uh, comparison, this is not my uh, first steelbook here that I've had. Take a look at the steelbook for Final Fantasy XII, the remaster. Very similar packaging, what Square did here. They went with steelbooks with paper. On the outside, um, I've Uncharted 4 from like the, I think it's the limited edition. I'm sorry. Let me move this back. 
just the steelbook, no paper insert. And then we have two other steelbooks um, from fighting games. Also for PlayStation, we have uh, Kingdom Fighters 14, which they went with a uh, plastic kind of transparent look on the outside, which I actually kind of dig. But this is more likely, well, actually, no, a paper is more likely, likely to get damaged a little bit. I don't know. You can tell me what you like better in the comments. And then we have Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite Deluxe Edition for PS4. So just thought I'd do that as a quick um, run over of all the uh, steelbooks I do have. If you want to check out my unboxing of Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, I have that on my channel. I'll try to leave that in the description. But all in all... I think this is a pretty good uh, collection here. I haven't played the game recently. I've played like the earlier builds of the game. I enjoyed it quite a bit. So I'm going to have some fun trying to play this again and kind of relearn the mechanics. I had this on PSP. I had a Dissidia Dual, Dual Deckum, I think it's called. Um, so it's been a few years since then, but I'm going to try to play this and um, maybe I'll do some broadcasts. So... Again, thanks for joining me on my unboxing. Um, please leave a comment below if you liked it. If you if you can correct me on some of those names or pronunciations, I'd appreciate it. Um, you can drop your PSN name if you want to play online. Or if um, you have anything else you want to say about my video or the channel, that's fine. Otherwise, you could just uh, like and also subscribe for more content. And I hope I can see you in the next video. So have a great day and peace.